So 343 just dropped a massive update for the Master Chief Collection. So let's check it out. Halo 4 received the Acrophobia and Bandana Skulls. The Golden Moas are now in Combat Evolved and in Halo 4's campaigns. You now have the ability to rejoin online matches. Really hope this feature comes in the Halo Infinite sometime soon. Mod tools are now for Halo 4 and Halo 2 Anniversary, which are going to come in very important very soon here. You now have retroactive Spartan points, where now you're earning points for what you earned previously, as what it is now that every time you level up, in the progression system, you earn a Spartan point, much like you did with level 1 through 101. And I know many of us Halo fans have leveled up beyond the first 100 levels, so we're not really earning any Spartan points. Kind of reduces that progression feel. Well, now that comes back in the Halo Infinite with retroactive Spartan points. So the way it's going to work out, they kind of detailed the whole thing right here. So, for example, the player right here is on Tour 7, level 25. That's the 205th level overall. And since they really got the first 100 Spartan points, they're going to get those extra Spartan points retroactively, meaning that they're going to earn an extra 104 Spartan points in total. Essentially, log on to MCC, you're going to get some free Spartan points. The exchange has gotten an expansion, so you can spend more of those Spartan points. Tactical and support packages are now in Halo 4. Halo 2 Classic Emblem Support, as you can see right here, your emblem can now show up on the flag, which is really freaking cool. I really like that addition right there. 343 actually stated that the CTF emblem behavior was originally prototyped during the development of Halo 2 on the original Xbox, but was incomplete. I know we covered this previously on the channel. They talked about the theater mode coming into Halo 4's campaign, as well as Spartan Ops, and this is what they had to say right here, saying, well, we'll have more to say what's coming in MCC for 2023, such as theater mode support for Halo 4 and Spartan Ops, which is going to be fantastic. But there is one big update that I am crazy excited about. It's an absolute game changer of the Master Chief Collection, and that is the Steam Workshop. This little workshop tab right here has a wonderful amount of just mods and different types of content you can download into the MCC super easy. Now you're probably saying to yourself like, well, Kevin, We've had mods before in MCC. I've seen videos of you posting it. Why is it so crazy important now to have Steam Workshop? Because before adding in mods into your game was such a hassle having to replace maps and save old maps and stuff like that in a different folder and things like that. Now with the Workshop, you can actually just download whatever you want on to your game and it just works right away it's super easy for example i downloaded this homefront map which is an odst inspired modded map that someone just created that's supposed to be kind of like a btb map that you can now just click subscribe down here like you should on this channel just saying how to plug it you know and then it just goes right into your game. So let's check it out. Now for these modded maps to show up, you do have to boot into the game with the anti-cheat turned off, so you won't be able to play online matches, but that's fine because you'll be playing custom games anyways. But you go into custom games, multiplayer games, and then since I downloaded a Halo 3 map, go to Halo 3, you'll see modded maps right there. And then I see my selection of maps that I've clicked subscribe on from the workshop, and yeah. These look really freaking awesome. So let's check out the home front map just real quick to show you guys like what it actually looks like. And here is home front, which is an ODST inspired map. That's a like smaller mid-sized BTB kind of map. And guys, like, just look at this. I mean, come on. Isn't this not amazing that like, you can actually just simply just do this now in Halo? This is just absolutely fantastic. And there's so much content for you to jump into and check out. How about a recreation of Coagulation from Halo 2? This time in Halo 3. Yeah, that's right. The, one of the all time greatest maps of all time in the sandbox of Halo 3, dude. Like This is just a straight up just Coagulation in Halo 3. I couldn't be any happier right now. But not just multiplayer, it also works in campaign as well for any one of these campaigns. So let's check, click on Reach and say like, oh, have you ever wanted to fight a rat in Halo Reach? Well, now you can because look at this Halo 3 rat. Oh my God, this is gonna be an experience for sure. Attack the rat, bring it on baby. Here we go. Like, dude, you're super fast in this too. This is hilarious. Let's see what the, if there's any like AI tied to the rat. I'm just gonna take this bad boy on. Let's go. You see it's taking up. Oh my God, he actually fights back. He shoots back. Okay. Don't let the rat get away. We gotta let that, we can't let that happen. It's the rat, man. Oh my God, another cutscene here. <laughs> oh God, what is he gonna do? Mini rats have now come into the game. 
Oh my gosh, they're shooting plasma pistols at me. Get him. Get him. Oh my gosh, I'm completely out of bullets. Can I kill these little guys? If I throw a grenade or something? <laughs> what the heck is this? This is ridiculous, man. Oh my gosh. This rat never knew it was gonna hit him, man. I need to just melee him now, I think. That's probably all I can do. Hey, come here. Bam. <laughs> if you want to see my recent thoughts on the mouse and keyboard game aim assist in Halo Infinite, as well as the custom game browser and a whole lot more, well, check out this video right here. Thank you much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.